welcome back to my channel if you're new here hi my name is Anissa and I post a little bit of everything so just go ahead and hit that subscribe button and the alert bell so you're notified every time I post because why not let's just see what I'm posting you know I post a little bit of everything I don't know what I'm posting half the time okay just first off before I even get started in this I just want to talk about this green top there's a little bit of water on it ignore it a little bit just this green top with my dark hair it's it's a mood right now I'm feeling it anyway <laughs> Today's video is a desk video um, going back and forth on whether I really want to record it now or after I get a new desk. I plan on getting a new desk because I want a desk with drawers because I feel like drawers have better storage. This is just like a open up um, cabinet and then it has like two shelves in it and I feel like I'm such a mess <laughs> with two shelves. I need actual drawers with like storage in them. So I plan on getting a new desk soon. I have my eye on one on Amazon. So. I was going back and forth between like recording this now or recording this after I get the desk. But I think I want to do a video maybe showing you guys the desk and me setting it up and what I get to like organize stuff in it. I don't know. Like maybe I'll do that. But for now, I want to show you guys what I keep on my desk. It's just helpful for me just for being like on in online school right now. I don't think I won't be fully online next semester. I already like have my schedule planned out and I'll probably be taking two or three classes online and then two in person so but i will be on at home still just won't be taking five classes at home this is what i've done for my desk for just doing homework at home and zoom classes at home so without further ado let me just get into it first off i have these blue blocking glasses they are perfect when i'm sitting here all day working on zoom classes on my monitor sitting here doing my iPad, schoolwork, just everything. Blue blocking glasses are just perfect for keeping our eyes safe against everything. I just think they're super cute. Everything, I'll try to link everything down below. I got these off Amazon. I believe they are a two pack. I have a black pair somewhere. These are like the tortoise shell, they're super cute. I'll link, I'll try to link things that I know where to get them from down below. Next, I have this ring. My mom actually just got it for me and it's, it's a fidget ring. I found that when I'm sitting here working, editing on video, editing videos or working on assignments, normally I pick at my fingers. So my nail beds are awful. I usually sit there and pick at them or I pick at my hair. I play with my hair, I pick at my face, I do something. This is keeping me super busy because this hand is usually my free hand. And this hand I'm usually writing or I have my hand on my mouse. So I'm usually doing something. This one is usually just sitting off to the side like messing with something. And I found that I'm just sitting here like this the whole time. So it works, I actually enjoy it. So there's that. I try to keep a cup of some sort. This is like one of those like Starbucks type cups, but I got this from the Wild Moonies. I'll link it down below. Use code Anissa, R-E-F, all one word for 25% off. They have a bunch of colors. I have a black one off to the side, but it needs to be washed. So I have this pink one and I fill it with coffee. It's quite large next to my head. I mean, look at that. I fill it with coffee. I can fit a couple of water bottles. I can fit a bottle and a half of water in it. It's just good for keeping me hydrated, making, reminding me to drink water. It also is great because normally I give myself like little cups of coffee. And then when I'm in the middle of working, I'll be like, you know what, I want another cup of coffee. And I'll get up and go refill the cup. If I just fill this whole thing with coffee, I won't want to get up and get another coffee. That's a huge thing too. So it's limiting the amount of times I'm getting up and leaving and distracting myself and procrastinating on my work. So that's a huge thing that I need to like, I've been trying to find just ways to not procrastinate on work and leaving my desk so often. Another thing I have found, hold on, let me grab it. Snacks, candy, hockey in here, but I ran out. I have seaweed snacks on the way. They should be here today, but I like to keep some type of snacks here. So if I'm getting hungry, if I'm like craving something sweet or if I'm just craving something salty, I can just pull it out of my desk as I'm sitting here. And it's, it just works perfect because then I'm not getting up and going and grabbing myself a bowl of chips every two seconds because I just don't want to sit here. I don't have an excuse to get up. And especially having multiple, like, and like an array of snacks rather than just like, Starburst because half the time I'll be like I don't want Starburst so I'll go like if I have the seaweed snacks or something else here a bag of chips or something I will you know be able to grab at different things rather than be like oh I don't want Starburst today I'm gonna go get up and like leave for an hour when I don't need to be leaving for an hour when I have work I need to be getting done so that's a huge thing I also like to keep multivitamins at my desk this is a great reminder come sitting at my desk 
all day, five days a week, Monday through Friday. I'm always doing work Monday through Friday. This is just a great reminder for me to take my multivitamin. I always forget. If I put anywhere else in my room, I won't take it. But if I keep it in my desk, on my desk somewhere, I'll remember to take it. So that's a huge thing for me. I like to keep them just somewhere. I have a clip too. I got this in a pack, I think of four. It was this color, black, green, and orange, I think. Like a terracotta orange kind of color. Just a great little clip. It's been great so far. Got these off Amazon again, just because if I'm sitting here with my hair down, it just feels great to be able to clip it back real quick as much as I can. So there's not as much in my way, in my face or anything. And I get to work, have that whole chunk hanging out there. But if I'm just sitting here trying to work and my hair is just distracting, I'm not seeing it. I'm seeing it right now, it's distracting. But if I'm sitting here doing work, it's not distracting. And it just works perfect for me. So I love this. I keep two different types of headphones on my desk. I know not everyone probably can, but I know Amazon probably sells some really cheap headsets. Um, I had gotten these Beats a while ago, back I think in 2018 when Apple was doing the buy a school supply, get headphones free. This is when they were doing the Beats. So I got in my laptop, I had gotten a pair of Beats. There's times where I prefer to wear my Beats, like full on headphones. There's times where I prefer to wear my AirPods. It really just depends for me. If I'm doing kind of like laid back work, I'll wear my AirPods because I don't have to set this whole thing up and like actually wear it. But if I'm actually trying to focus, these are better because I don't have to keep pushing these in. These are the AirPod first generations. They slip out my ears if I'm sitting here working for too long or if I'm like moving around, they start slipping out my ears. So this is like great because it doesn't move. It sits in one place. I love it. It's definitely, it's definitely great to have two different types. So depending on how I'm feeling or my mood, I have an array of things. And again, you can get like some cheap headsets like like the Beats off Amazon for super cheap. So that works. You can use plug-in headphones. It doesn't matter what you have. I just like having two different types of headphones so I can just feel like I have like an array of something to choose from when I'm trying to work. And that's it for inside my desk. On my desk, I keep, I keep notepads everywhere. So I have an issue of back in high school, I used to get daily planners. I never used them. Our school gave us daily planners thought they were stupid and I never used them. And that's why I always didn't do my homework. But I would find out like day of, someone's like, oh, did you do the homework? I'm like, we had homework. And they're like, yeah. And I'm like, so I'd go run and do it. And I do it real quick. Obviously under stress, I can get it done pretty quick and do it pretty well, but I'd rather not stress. So I got myself a daily planner. I got this one, it's super cute. It's just a green one and it's 2021 to 2022, goes into June of 2022. And I write everything in it. I color coordinate all my classes, plus just things that like I want to get done. So I have my classes color coordinated in these more muted colors. I pull out highlighters like that or like that or things that need to get done ASAP or that are like work related or things like that. So I have that and, that, and in my daily planner, I write down like the basics of what I need to get done in the day. Then, when I'm sitting in class, I have this list and it's just an extensive list of paper. It has where you can write the date, the subject, and then you can check it off. I check it off and scratch it out. It just looks more organized to me knowing that I don't have to look at it at all. As I'm sitting in classes, I write down not only why I need to get done in the day from my daily planner here, but then if I'm sitting in my class, my teacher's like, oh yeah, I've added this to our course today or for the week or whatever. I start adding to this. I go and add to the planner. It just kind of is easier for me that way. I don't know, just writing it down multiple times helps. And then, amazing, I have, then I have another notepad, it's called the Never Ending List. And this is how I schedule my day. So I don't schedule my day in the daily planner. My daily planner, just write everything that needs to get done. The extensive list is where I add like extra stuff I may have forgotten. And then here's where I organize it. So I'm like, you're gonna get up at 6.30, you're gonna work on these two or three assignments, you're gonna go get eat breakfast. Then you're gonna work on these few assignments and you're gonna have class starting at this time go work on these assignments. You're gonna go for a walk, you're gonna go exercise, you're gonna go do something, you're gonna clean your room, something, and you're gonna finish and be done. And then you have the next day. And I don't, I stick to these, but then I'll also go ahead and even go to like the next day sometimes. It's just easier and it also makes me remember everything that I need to get done. It's just, it's easier for me. <laughs> it's, it's just a lot. I also keep post-it notes because sometimes on the post-it notes, like if it's a weekend or if it's a day where I only have like four or five things to do. I don't feel like wasting one of those pages. So I'll just write the date and then those five things I need to get done here so I can cross them off as I'm going through the day. I have a little post-it note. It's like half, it's like half the size, it's tiny. I think this is so cute and it works perfect for like little tiny notes that I don't feel like wasting on a giant notepad, on a giant, on a giant post-it, I can just write it here. So it's just perfect for that. I don't know where I got these. I had these one, this one, and then a blue one. I ran out of the blue one, put some, ran out, some out of the yellow one. I don't know. 
where to get more. I also don't think I will get more. It was just something that I've had and I'm like, I may as well just use them and find a purpose for them. Okay, so next I keep lip balm on my, on my desk because my lips are getting gross. I sit here and pick at them and that's not good too. So I can put this on real quick and I remember not to pick at them. I keep nail, fi nail, nail clippers here. I need to put my nail fi file back in here. I had a nail file in here, I took it out but I have nail clippers, I have these, this. So I had gotten this, this is for my like arm against my keyboard, but I also keep it for I'm writing and setting my arm down because I noticed that at the beginning of the semester, I think last semester, sitting here, my arm would start going numb. I was like, dude, why is my arm going numb? And I realized it's because of the desk, me just leaning against the desk for so long writing. It was just cutting off circulation. And then this is a mouse pad. I don't like the sound of my mouse running across the desk my wooden desk i don't like that sound and then it also has for my wrist it's a little a little comfy cushion i suffer from eczema and a lot of like nail issues just like really messed up dry cuticles and i sit here and bite them so instead i try to keep some type of hand lotion on my desk fragrancy stuff is okay but if I'm having a really bad breakout, the fragrance doesn't help. Like if I'm having eczema, if I'm having an allergic reaction, the fragrancy stuff doesn't help. So this is just the advanced repair lotion that's just very, very dry skin, has no scent. It's totally fine, it works perfect. Also, last thing, I have an iPad. So if you don't have an iPad, this probably doesn't apply to you, but I found that this helps when I draw or if I'm um, taking notes and my hand is resting against it. And if I rest my whole hand against my iPad, it'll cause the iPad to kind of like start moving or glitching or like, you know, more drawing or something coming up. And I'm like, that's not what I wanted. So this just keeps that from happening. It just works perfect. I think that's really it for now. I don't think I have anything else to like show. I have another notepad. I have notepads all over my desk. Yeah. I have a notepad problem. I just really like notepad. I think that's all I have for just things I keep on my desk that are just helpful. Everyday studying, fidgeting. I have slime somewhere on my desk. My sister made me slime. And that's why I was playing with slime a lot before I got the fidget ring. But it leaves a weird like play doh kind of smell on my hands. But I do love playing with it. If I'm getting really like, if I'm like reading something for my class and it's like 50 pages, I'll just sit there and sit here and play with this. So I think it's good just keep like fidgety things on your desk if you're the type of person that fidgets. I just think these are all just really great things, just reminders to eat, drink, things to help you with fidgeting. I hope this was helpful in some way. I can do a full desk tour where I talk about literally everything on my desk, but I just wanted to focus on the things I just feel like everyone needs on their desk or everyone should have like an idea of like, oh, that's a thing that exists. Thank you so much for watching. Hope this was helpful anyway. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Comment down below. Tell me if you're in school right now, what you're studying. If you're not in school, do you have a home office that you have to like worry about and think about sitting at the office all day, at your desk all day? Cause it is a lot. Sitting here all day is a lot, but even sitting in class all day is a lot. Just sitting anywhere all day is a lot. Just let me know down in the comments, you know, make your own prompt, whatever. Anyway, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.